Hello everybody and welcome once again to all of Fabric 3. Today we are going to do a little bit more applied energistics and we maybe if we get time we'll do some um, industrial revolution. I've also upgraded the pack to version 272 but I've disabled some mods. I've basically disabled rats, chilling and bewitched because I don't want to be bothered with those too much. So let's get started. Right, here we are. Let's have a look at this. There are a few recipes I've basically want to do with tech reward as well um let's just get these sorted out first of all i would like to make an advanced with an advanced alloy two advanced machine frames one compressor and two advanced circuits we can make an implosion compressor we do need this later on it's high high level stuff and also another machine we're going to make is the uh, vacuum freezer we also need this for stuff and that's basically steel plates advanced circuits reinforced glass extractors and that's We've done those bits before, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Now, here we have uh, an ME interface. We made one of those last time. The recipe for that was uh, formation core, annihilation core, and then iron ingots and glass. Very straightforward, really. And then you can actually shape craft that. So you can basically make it an ME interface, which is a flat ME interface, or you can put it back again and you'll get a full block one. So it doesn't matter which way we do those. Um, Next one I'm going to have a look at is here. We, I would like to make a, a crafting unit. Now that is actually part of the quest book. Let's have a look at the quest book. This is Kibi and we've, I think it defaults to Kibi when you start. So applied energistics to this here. So I've made this ME interface uh, and I get for that uh, 32 coal, I think. And so you just click, left click this and you get the items into your, uh, into your inventory. And the next one along here is a crafting unit. So we can make the crafting. You can see I've already done most of these <laughs> along this top row, but I haven't got the rewards for them. I've got to go back and do them again. And say with the ME control, all I have to do is break the one I've got and it'll put it into my inventory. No big deal. So to make a crafting unit, you you do this. I want to make, so there's four. Yes, I need four. We're making four crafting units. And with one of those crafting units, we're going to put it here and then we're going to make a co-processor. A crafting cube processor unit. That's actually another quest. So that was just a crafting unit with some um, a, uh, an engineering press. And what this does allows you to process two recipes or two parts of a recipe at the same time. The next thing down the list here, I have got. Let's have a look at the, let's have a look at the quest book again. So here we see you've got crafting unit as one of the quests. So for that, I get a reward of some smoothies. It doesn't tell me what it is. I think it's small. We can tell it. You can see a little box here of food it's going to give me. Uh, well, this is supposed to be better. This is supposed to be better uh, as a, a reward system. And here I get some fish in a bucket, which I'm not convinced it is actually that much better for a questing unit. Uh, it's just differently laid out, that's all. And then we need to make a modular assembler. Now, the modular assembler is the bit that does the crafting for you. So let's have a look at that. I think I've got this prepared as well. So, we, so I should be able to see that almost immediately. Now I can't. So let's just type. Here we go. And that is a... But actually, it's a very similar to the other one, which was that one, the ME interface with just got a crafting table in the mix in the middle of it. It looks like it, except for it's got quartz, ga quartz glass as well. So that one will be set up here. So I've already set this up ready, as you can see. So we get our modular assembler and that completes some quests and it also completes uh, an achievement. So let's have a look at the, go back to the quest book. By the way, I've programmed my quest book. And for this one, I get something or other. I think it's pineapple pizza, but I'm difficult to know. <laughs> so we'll look at see what we have got. Pineapple pepperoni, pepperoni pizza, that's a really good one. This was a bucket to puff a fish, and the first one was a chocolate milkshake. So with fats and sweets. I try to avoid sweets because they just give you negative effects. But this one here, a pineapple pepperoni pizza, is actually a really good one because it gives you fruit, protein, and carbohydrates. That's one of the best, as it happens. So I've got two more recipes down here prepared. Um, this was a, a basic crafting card. I want to make two of those. Um, well, make two sets. That's four. And then the last one here is to make uh, an ME storage component. 
this is why I need the, you'll see why I need this for the next one. <clears throat> so let's go and have a look at the quest book again. Probably complete some more. No. Do we want to make a, I'm not sure I get a gold helmet. This one. Uh, Emmy crafting storage for 1k Emmy crafting storage. It's pretty straightforward as it happens. So let's go and have a look at the, re the recipe for that. So in this particular case, it's ME, so we'll just do it. ME should sort it down enough to do that one. So we need the crafting storage. And I'm not seeing it. Let's just get rid of the crafting bit. Here we go. So this is the 1K storage. So for that, you need a crafting unit plus a 1K storage, which we have actually got in which we can put into our own inventory and we can craft that. This is why I made four of these crafting units. And we can also do the next one along as well, which is the 4K crafting one. So we need a 4K MK storage unit plus a crafting unit. Um, now the 4K one is actually not too difficult. We need three of these for it, but I'm not sure what the other bits are. Let's just have a quick look at that one. Redstone... Uh, Calculation press and some quartz glass. Okay, we should have that in this in this chest here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, redstone. I need four redstone. Quartz glass. Have I got some quartz glass? Yes, I have. Well, I think we just need one of those, don't we? Um, and one calculation processor. I haven't got very many of those left. Let's make some more. Very straightforward these days. So let's go back to this one. And that should be all we need for to make this one. Yes, we can do that. So we can simply put that with a, a crafter unit in here, and then we get the 4K one. So that's as far as I want to go with that for today. Let's have a look at this one. And get the, the book out again, have a look. It's not really a book these days. So I can play my gold helmet, fantastic. <laughs> and then the next one down is the 4K one here. We get something else, as I can't make out what it is. I think it just flicked up in a second. They see it gets thrown down and we pick it up again. So this one will be a 16, this will be a 64, in the same way that we were doing the storage units before, um, which is actually in the way. Let's have a look. Let's close that off. So these are the ones we've done down here, for example. ME drive, we've already completed. We've already completed all these terminals. And a memory card we haven't done yet, PP tunnels. But we have done all the rest of this stuff. So we'll leave that for the time being. We'll, we'll start to use that. And I would like to start using that for um, the next mod we're going to look at in more detail, and that's Industrial Revolution. So here is the manual, a book and an ME1 circuit. The recipe for the ME1 circuit, we did this last time, was basically copper plates, nickelite dust, gold plate. And that makes one of those, and you put it together with the book and you get a revolution guide, is it? A revolution guide guide and we can right click that and have a look at what it tells us so this is another patch we patch we book um so it tells you about the machines it tells you upgrades temperature tools enhanced ore processing and index then we can do or doubling straight away which we do with the pulverizer and so that was one of the things we've got to do so have a look at the um, the progress here and have a look at industrial revolution and you see i've already completed this one because i made the me circuit to start with and we get for that a oh that looks a bit better i'm just wondering if i've lost my text somewhere <coughs> and there i start to not so i got an infinity enchanted book fantastic <laughs> i think i've already got infinity on my bow as it happens or one of them so <laughs> it didn't matter too much at the time i'm going to put this stuff away and come back in a second well, I was putting these down and I looked at them and it said incomplete multi-block. <laughs> I thought I had to have a look at what they actually are. So this is the um, implosion compressor. So let's have a look at this one again. Um, let's just pick it up. You'll see it needs, this one needs advanced machine frames. It needs uh, 26 of the look. So three by three by three minus one in the middle. It'll give you 26. So let's just break this off and have a look at the uses of this, why it's actually an important one. The implosion compressor, the uses of that one. All right, you can make different things with it. You make from you can make diamond dust, for example. You need either TNT or you need N crystals. Um, but the one that's really sort of important is this one, iridium alloy ingot, because that's the only way you can make this iridium alloy plate. The recipe for this one is the, that's the only recipe that you can make with here. The rest of these are probably much less important 
important that I can see, mostly for making gems out of dust. But maybe I'm miss maybe I'm missing something. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, for example, uh, yellow garnet, for, like this one. If you look at the uses of yellow garnet, you can make a block. You can grind it to dust. You can pulverize it to dust. So that's actually. <laughs> but the dust itself has a use. So the dust you can use in the implosion compressor to make. Okay, we've done that one already. The compressor will make a plate, and the industrial centrifuge will make <laughs> uvarate dust, goslar dust, and <laughs> andrite dust. And <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce these properly. And the uses of these ones you can then put into the industrial electrolyzer to make calcium compressed air, uh, silicon, and iron. So it's another way of getting this. Uh, what's actually happening is I'm getting a reasonable amount of this from the recycler. So we'll let the recycler deal with all of that. Then for this one over here, this is the vacuum freezer. It's basically its primary usage. I'll have a look at that one. Pleasant compared to the uses of the vacuum freezer, quickly. Is to make tungsten steel ingots. There are actually no other uses for hot tungsten steel. We can make... This is um, actually not useful as it happens. Helium plasma cells to helium cells. I think you have to make a helium cell to make helium plasma cell. Um, so, for example, if you look at the uses of that, you can make a 60k helium coolant cell. And the uses of that is then you can make 120, 180 helium coolant cells. Uh, and you can make semi super semiconductors. And I think that's about the only recipe for this. Yes, it is. So that's... Um, so that's the uses of that one. Let's go back a couple and have a look at the this one here. Um, and the uses of this one is in the plasma generator. Uh, and the recipe for it, that's already probably what I should have looked at first of all, is you take a helium-3 cell plus a, a deuterium cell and make one of this. And the helium-3 cell <laughs> the loops around. We're using um, titanium cells and deuterium cells it gets a bit complicated but this is all to do with the fusion reactor which will give us high power later on hopefully <laughs> so let's get on sorry about that slight distraction in here i have got everything i want for today's little bits and pieces and here i've got some spare bits i actually got some of ancient debris because i was in the nether um dealing with that stuff i'm just going to get rid of this stuff here i should, should have put let me just put some stuff away into my backpack probably twin it'll do in the backpack keep the torches with us actually yeah let's put all of that back and just take out a few of the arrows just in case who knows you never know you might get attacked but in here i've got everything we want for today to start with uh, industrial revolution we've already started because as you remember we built, built this pump here and this solar generator now i noticed when it's actually running this it's pulling water from this block this block and this block so you do need uh, in this particular case as you see i've got a, a three by two pond for water and it doesn't drain the water tank otherwise it drains the water tank and in here i've got is it empty or no it can't be empty it does have a bug in here somewhere along the line let's just uh, get an empty handle on this one so this is full of water at the moment which is great and then that's pushing into here so we've got this is already ready in fact i could shove in some uh ore and we can watch what happens when that's actually running let's get some ore out of here um copper is probably the one we probably would like to process next so let's go and take that one I've actually got a lot more oil than I'm thinking I've got at the moment. So this is in here. So I should be able to put that in here like that, yes. And you'll see it's going to start taking water from here and how it takes the water from in here. As it, as it needs water, it's getting pulled out of the uh, tank. Should do. But this isn't running at the moment because... Let's have a look. Yeah, this is a slight problem. <laughs> and maybe because it's night time. Let's have a quick sleep, come back in a second. Ah, yes. No. <laughs> yes, it was running because it wasn't night time and there was no power, of course. Well, as you can see, it's pulling water from the corners. And how it's pulling water from the corners. And it's doing those three blocks, as you see. So, it would probably work quite happily with a 2x2, two two, but certainly doesn't work with a 1x3. 
So right, let's get on with the next thing. Let's look at the quest book, because that's the, oh, the quest, and have a look at what we've got in here. So we need to make a wrench. That's number one. So let's make a wrench. A wrench is very straightforward. It's two um, sticks, and I, th I think it's bronze plates. Get that right. No, it's copper plates. So it's either one or the other. Like that, and then we make a wrench. So that completes, actually you get quite a few quests completed because I already made some bits from last time. So let's go and get those out the, and see what we've completed. So we've completed the wrench and we will get some iron plates and the book. Oh, I didn't need to make the book, never mind. <laughs> that was a shame. Good to know. Probably should have looked at that first, shouldn't I? And this one here we get the machine block and we get some more iron plates from that one. And then we get a battery and we get two glasses of wine, it looks like. So the next thing we've got to make is a Nikolai ingot. And the recipe for Nikolai ingots is we need an infuser. So let's have a look at this one. So you need in the infuser, you need to infuse it in an infuser. So you need a solid infuser. And I've got the recipe bits for that. Maybe not. I need to make some batteries up. That's with tin, and I should make about eight batteries, I think. I can't do it two, by two crafting table. Let's try that again. <laughs> Honestly, we'll go with this one. We'll go with that same route as we looked up here, batteries. And I haven't got any tin plates. I've got lots of tin plates. Where are they? Did I pick up the wrong chest? No, I don't think so. Maybe I missed maybe I missed one of the ingredients when I was doing that. So again, we'll go back through this. Six batteries. Okay, I've miscalculated that bit. Let's go back to the infuser again. Machine blocks. This is basically iron plates, and that should I'm missing machine well, I think I've done that. I've probably picked up the wrong ingredients. <laughs> Dear. No, I've actually only got four iron ingots in here. I'm a bit confused, sorry. Be, let's just get this one made in here anyway. So let's just, we need that one. So we needed iron plates and I need, you know. I'm, and it was Nicolette that's got the top and bottom, wasn't it? So we get this. Oh, I've already got five main. Oh, sorry, that's what I'm doing wrong. I've got five of these already made. Now I've got six, probably need six as it happens, but no big deal. The next thing along the right line, let's get this infused. I bet you spotted that and I just didn't. I was wondering, oh, yes, of course I know why. So we need some copper plates, some machine casing, some glass and, uh, and a battery. And that's basically it. And we should be able to make the infuser. Obviously this needs power. Um, and maybe, maybe I should have made a generator first of all. Yes, I should make a coal generator first of all. And then we'll get for that some rewards. Let's make the coal generator. I should have looked at the book, shouldn't I? I'm making, I need some heat coils. Let's make those up. I need two, two of those. I should have done twice, shouldn't I? Recipe again. And I'm missing copper plates. Right, I'll be back in a second with some more copper plates. Right, I've got a couple of plates, but look, there is something I've noticed. The chests aren't closing. I'm not quite sure why. Sometimes they just don't close. So we can now make the coal generator. Let's make this up. I made all of this bits before. I had forgotten I'd actually made... Oh, I just need to make this coal up first. Until I'm done. So I make up the coal. And then I've got not got enough plates because I didn't go... And, but I have got some already in the compressor here. So this should be ready. Yeah, two. I need three, don't I? We need four in total. So just wait a second. And this should also have some speed upgrades in it. There we go. No, it doesn't. It needs some speed upgrades up sometimes, don't these things, don't they? Then so now we should be able to make the coal generator. Like that. And then we should have got a completed a quest, which is good. Let's have a look at that quest. Maybe we get something that we need for next time. Obsidian. Um, what did we... Obsidian did we get? 16. Oh, block of coal. Sorry, our block of coal. Oh, yes, we got coal generator, so we can put lots of coal into it. So let's set this up. So we've got a coal generator. We put that down here, for instance. 
And then we've got other rewards. We've got 16 blocks of coal. Let's just put one in here like this. And you'll see it's got a cooler here and it's got battery power. So it's got 1,000 and it looks like it's going to be keep... I'm not sure if this is going down or not. Whether it stops, whether it only burns the fuel as it needs it. If it does, that's nice. If it doesn't, it's not nice. So then we need to have a look at the book again and let's have a look at what we're going to do. So the next one here is an electric furnace and then a pulverizer and then the solid infuser. So let's make those three bits if I've got enough materials left because I did screw that up a bit. So we need the electric furnace. So we can make the electric furnace and then we get that com it's completed. Now you can put these items down beside this in the same way as you did before. Yes, you see that this is now burning and that coal didn't disappear. So this is now being charged up as you can see. And it's got opens the page about the, in the revolution ago. When you click on it, you get the page really nice. I like that. It's one of the nice things about this pulverizer and compressor. You can actually see that they're almost identical. Compressor's got stone. This has got flint. This has got copper plates. In fact, they both got copper plates. I need some more copper plates, which we will have by now. I hope we've got enough. It's in the chest that's open as it happens. Eight. Exactly right. Let's make this up. So we need to make the pulverizer up next. Try again. So these all have upgrades, by the way. You can use it to make a part Mark II. And the Mark II uh, recipe for that one it doesn't tell me. That's probably wrong, actually. I think you can make a part two. Be weird. Hold on. Was there a crafting page? No, there isn't a crafting page on that. That's strange. I think you just basically do this. They're all the same. So we should be able to make uh, this. Battery machine casing and Mark One circuit always always the case, and then the next one along here was the solid infuser. I've done that already, haven't we? So we can put all of these down like this, um, and it will have cables, of course. So we can put the pulverizer down here like that, and then we can put the solid infuser beside that one, and in the solid infuser we can put some iron and some. Nicolite. In fact, I've got both those two prepared, and this will make the make the ingot. In fact, I need some more nicolite. I need another bits because I used up the rest of it. I'm very, and I've got plenty, as you can see. We're not, we're not short of nicolite. Doesn't it? Let's just put those into there, and then take one out. How many do I need? Let's well, put all of them in like that. So we're now going to get these nicolite ingots. And again, that is another quest and an advancement. Great. Let's have a look at that. Now we should be able to claim some of these rewards. In fact, you can see we've actually got quite a reasonable amount done. So we've done the Nikolai ingot. We get some dust for that one. That's good. Actually, it's happened. We've done the electric furnace and we'll get some iron for that one. Iron ore, that's a good one. And then we've done the pulverizer. We're going to get a cheeseburger and a Mark 1 circuit, both of which are good. You just click... You get 10 of those pizza, um, whatever they were. I didn't see what they were, actually. And then we get, get the solid infuser, and for that we get a reward. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> so look. It's probably a frame. It was probably a machine block, yes. Okay. So this is making these ingots. We're going to need a lot of these Nikolai ingots. That's why I shoved in the whole lot of that. No. Um, or doubling, of course, you can do with the pulverizer. So you can put something in here Let's put the iron in here and it should start to pulverize this up i'm not sure how much you see the temperature is going up um and i'm not sure if that i have to read the book i think if it gets too hot it's a bad thing but if it's up to a certain level it's probably a good thing i'm not sure whether that's the case or not so we can put the other blocks of coal in here they get used as they get needed which is fine and as you can see, we put in 16. So we should get 32 iron dust out of here. But you can improve on that with this mod. You can do all quadrupling. Actually, that's why I want to do it as a, as a starting point. So let's have a look now at what else we can do with the mod. No, it's night tower back in a second. 
Right, you can, we've got some more things. We can make a solar generator. I'm going to make a solar generator. I'm going to make a cable. Uh, this will be a Mark II circuit. Maybe we'll have a look at doing that one. We're going to make an enriched nickel alloy ingot uh, and some untanned leather, which we put in the solid infuser, I think. This one here, we will get um, more. Oh, that's actually quite good. We get some dust out of that one. 16 of them and plus one, whatever it is. <laughs> Don't ask me what it is. I'm not sure that the games, sometimes the game doesn't start up 100% as it should do. Uh, I think that's the case. I'm not 100% sure because I did up, do the upgrade and I'm not, I thought it was okay. Maybe I'm wrong. So let's get on with the nickel lighting. This is probably still running away. In fact, what I'm going, you see, this has also got heat and you may need to cool it down because it's got a cooler in here, but it doesn't ask us to cool it down just yet. So we're okay. It's all in the green. So let's have a look at the next thing we would like to make, make another generator. I think we can do that without too much of a problem. Let's have a look at the solar generator. It's the Mark 1 we want to make, so we can probably make this. We can, so that will complete another quest. And it's also a good thing we can put this down somewhere. Um, I'm not sure where the best place is. We'll put it down here, for instance. That's producing, that'll also produce heat and it's generating power. Doesn't tell you how much it's generating, but it seems to be reasonably fast. And then the temperature goes up, but it's not too hot, so we don't need to worry about it. Next thing, let's have a look at this. We needed to make some of this dust, didn't we? Um, the next ingot. So we've completed that one. It will give us a, a block of gold, nice one. Don't mind having a block of gold. Untan leather. I've got to wait for that one, so we won't do that one. We'll do the next one along the list here. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> let's get rid of that quest. A lazuli flux container. Let's make a lazuli flux container. I think I've got that prepared as well. That's a live flux. Can flux? It should be this one here. So we need some bronze plates, circuits, batteries. Uh, Nicolite dust, and basically that's it. And then we should make one of these. And this will be the way to store power. This will be the power storage cell. So what we could probably do is let's remove this. Um, it's got a wrench, and I think the wrench is also used mode rotate. Shift right click to change the mode. So look. I've got it in hand, haven't I? Configure, rotate, configure. And so if I shift right click this block away, does it shift? No. Nope. Good question. I'm not sure whether I need to configure. Nope, it's not working. I'm just going to break it. Let me get the block back. We do. I'm cautious about block because I haven't actually done that before, to be honest with you. If we put this down here like this. Oh, it's got input and output sides. So the input side will be blue and the output side will be orange, as you can see. We we'll probably can configure this as well. But for the time being, we right click this here. It's in the book, and yes, you can put items in there to charge up. Um, the wrench mode is in, I'm not sure which one. Rotate, configure. So we can configure this. Can we configure it? Yes, we can. Great. So you can change the front to be an input mode. You can change it to be an output mode. We can change the right one to be none or input. So we can then put this one over here. So you can have multiple inputs, multiple outputs, as you've already guessed. So we put that down here. This should then charge up. As you can see, this one, I'm not sure if it lost the power. I, it seems to retain the heat, but that's okay. Well, so by the time this is finished, we should have, I'm going to wait for 32 of these and I'm going to put this next bits in because we need this again for doing leather. <laughs> the recipe for the leather is actually just rotten flesh. flesh. So if we go back to the um, solid infuser, let's have a look at that one. I've got to cover this reasonably quickly to start with. If we look at the uses of this block here, it has a lot of uses. So we can make copper and tin will make bronze dust. Uh, gold and silver will make uh, electrum dust. So those are the ones which actually we've got. The one we need to make next is an enriched nickelite dust, which is diamond dust and nickelite dust. And then later on, we need to make a nickelite ingot plus enriched will make this enriched nickelite 
ingot, which is the one we want. So you see there's a lot of uses for this. And one of the ones which is fairly cheap in this is steel. So coal dust plus iron dust makes steel. So steel becomes very easy compared to um, a Tetra Born steel. <clears throat> really, in a way, it's sort of shame because that would be nice to do it. And I've actually got some stuff prepared for this. I think I've got in the grinder. I've ground up 16 diamonds. I've also got a lot of sand in the in, in here, so I'm going to take one stack of the sand and I'm going to put it into the furnace here, like that. In fact, I could take another half a stack of sand here and put it into the electric furnace, just for the sake of having a look at, make sure that it works properly as we expect it to. Um, that'll make glass. In fact, that seems to be reasonably quick. Yes, that's a fairly fast. It seems to be faster than the other one. So how much have we got? We've got plenty now. Let's just wait for this last piece to go through. And then we can put into here this one plus some Nicolite dust, I think, is the one we have to use. Let's take those out of there. Um, you see, now it's getting hot. Temperature. Now it should start to go down as we're not using it. But it's not heated up, so I think that's... I'm not sure it's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> we'll look at the uses of this one. And it wants it in the solid confuser. Yeah. So that plus some nickelite, this will make this enriched nickelite. So let's get that done. Um, let's put those together and then just take half of that and half of that again. And that will make this enriched. We then take the enriched and then we put it with the nickelite and we should get the um, enriched nickelite ingot. Which I'm going to do, and we'll just do, maybe just do one of these like that. We've got two, so and then we just put that and that together. And I think, yes, we do. We get some progress. So the rest of the time, I will set this up and do my own, prepare this for next time. So we've got enough bits and pieces in here. So we should get two of these ingots by the time we've finished on this one, like that. And that will should complete a quest. It has done. Let's have a look at the quest now. So we've completed this one. So we get 16 of these dust, which is great, because that's basically eight diamonds plus some food or other, another burger, a tofu burger. Okay. <laughs> Tells you on the top right-hand side what we got. Uh, and go back to that, because there was another quest that didn't complete there, and that's the Lazulite Flux Container, which gives me, uh, I don't know, tacos. <laughs> Very good reward collected. And I've got a feeling... No, no, it's fine. So we've got some... Tacos, as we saw before, we've got some. What else do we get in here? I'm not 100% sure. All the rewards are getting picked up by the magnet and not dropped on the floor. So now we've got this one. Let's put it into here two pieces of leather. Uh, rotting flesh, sorry. Two pieces of rotting flesh like this will make an untanned leather. So with this untanned leather, we put it into the furnace, I think. Smelt it in a furnace. And I think any furnace will do, but I'm not 100% sure. We will see in a second. I'd be surprised if it doesn't work in both furnaces. So we've got those two. Let's put those into this furnace over here. Take the glass out, obviously. And sure enough, it's working. So we get some leather from that. So that's just a very easy way to convert rotting flesh into leather, which is good. But at the moment, I've got absolutely stacks and stacks of leather. Let's go and have a look at that. Uh, mob drops. You see, I've got oh, nearly well, four and a half stacks, more than four and a half stacks of leather. And that's basically all come from <laughs> the travelling trader who comes around and pesters me from fairly frequently as it happens. So we'll do that. So the last thing, that's it I want to do for today, because what we need to do next, the next thing, thing that's important in this mod is let's go back out and have a look at that. Close that one off. We should see some in fluid. What's this one? Chopper. Okay, farmer and rancher. Cables. We haven't done any cables yet. Let's do some cables. I think I've got that prepared as well. Maybe not. <clears throat> 
So that's two gold plates and the Nikolite will make eight cables. I don't see any gold plates in there. Maybe I've got some in here. Yes, we have. So we can make that. Well, that should be dead easy. Let's put one of those in there. As you can see, you get to use all of this Nikolite dust. Ah, in fact, as it happens, let's just do it like this. And that will make eight cables, complete the craft. And then, of course, we can then attach these machines together without them having to be adjacent to a power block. So, for, for example, like this one is actually still used, hasn't used too much. This has gone down, and this is now should be cooling down. Let's put into the rest of this only 28 iron and 28 of these. 17, 26, two more, I'll we'll put those into that, uh, wrong, <laughs> it's the dust, try again, one, two, three, that should do that, and that should make some more of those, night time again, we'll be back in a second, well I'm a bit over, over time today, last thing I'm going to have a quick look at is this one, uh, it's a tree feather, what I've got here is a setup program, and if we look at the setup program, um, let's edit it, of course. A startup. You'll see that to run this, it basically runs as does a shell run, a tree farm with one parameter, and then that's the number of runs. So it's done one run and it's come back here and it stops. As you can see, I've got seven, a reasonably a large amount of that. What you do have to watch out for is this has to have enough. Oh, rubber sapling's got plenty in it, good. So. Last time it didn't have enough and it didn't run, so let's just... The sort key, by the way, is now P. You can sort it with a P. And in here, we, <laughs> we've got this vacuum hop, which should be picking up some saplings. It does actually provide enough saplings for this to keep running, so let's put those into there. So in the next episode, what I'd like to do is to carry on with the Industrial Revolution, at least get up to maybe all tripling is what my goal will be. Uh, in the process of doing that, what I'm going to do is start to set up some applied energistics in order to craft the components required for Industrial Revolution. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.